Welcome to Adventures in Science, starring Adventure Man. Hello, science fans. Thanks for joining us. Today, we'll be talking about ecosystems. An ecosystem is a place where there are living and non-living things interacting with each other. So we'll take a look at what some of these uh, various parts of an ecosystem are. The first thing it... Uh, who we'll turn out the lights? Oh, I get it. The first non-living part of an ecosystem is light. Obviously, light is not alive, but you do need it. Um, also, air. If we did not have air in this ecosystem I'm in right now, I would pass out and die, which is not fun, so I'm not going to do that. I'm glad we have air. Now, it's not just the air, but it's actually the movement of air also. Wind is part of an ecosystem. And since the parts of an ecosystem interact, here's a leaf, and we're going to see how it interacts with the wind, but uh, unfortunately the wind doesn't seem to be blowing hard enough right now, so my producer has uh, come up with uh, an idea. Okay, I'm ready. Go ahead. Show them how the leaf blows away. <laughs> Oh, I think that wind was a little too strong, Mr. Producer. I think you get the idea, though. Okay, so non-living parts of an ecosystem we have so far. We have light, we have air. Uh, what else? How about water? I'd love to show you a picture of a beautiful stream or pond, but there doesn't seem to be one of those in the area either. Uh, Mr. Producer, you have any ideas? That's not exactly what I had in mind. Excuse me while I get a change of clothes. Well, at least I had a spare dry shirt back in the car, so uh, let's move on. Okay, so non-living things. We have light, we have air, we have water. Um, any, any other ideas? Uh, what, Mr. Producer? Zombies? No, zombies aren't real. Don't be ridiculous. Uh, yes, I'm back again. Um, I'd just like to state for the record that I knew all along that that was just one of our assistants in a zombie costume, and I was not frightened in the least. <clears throat> Thank you. Next non-living part of an ecosystem... Dead things. Yes, that's a real mealworm, and it's really dead. Used to be alive, is no more. It is now a non-living thing. I know it's gross, but, you know, we got to talk about these things. Because it's science. It's an adventure. It's adventures in science. Sorry, I got carried away there, didn't I? Of course, it's not just... Dead animals, uh, dead plants count as well. They're also non-living parts of an ecosystem. I'm just looking on the ground here to see if I can find any dead plants to show you. And, uh, look, what, look up. Ah! Yeah, a dead tree counts too. <sighs> you know, Mr. Producer, I gotta tell you, I, I, you know, I feel convinced you're doing these things to me on purpose, all right? Are you, are you real? What, we're rolling? Soil is also a non-living part of an ecosystem. There are living things in the soil, but the soil itself is considered non-living. Uh, we're going to show you a sample of the soil in this region in just a moment, and I... Oh! <sighs> Cut! Animal wastes are also a non-living part of the ecosystem. Here we see a bird feather, and it's no longer attached to the bird, so it's just considered waste now. There are other kinds of waste that I'm sure you can think of. It's disgusting. Since we are here in an actual ecosystem, I'm sure it won't be too difficult to find an example of that other disgusting kind of waste. It's gross, but animal poop is also a non-living part of an ecosystem. A disgusting 
part of the not- What, Mr. Producer? Yeah, I figured we'd look around and find an example- Another non-living part of an ecosystem that we haven't had a chance to mention yet was rocks. I'm sure in an interesting ecosystem like this, we should be able to find some great rock. What, Mr. Producer? You found one? Oh, can I say it? Oh, that's not what I had in mind. Get this off of me! Oh, how did you even do that? Uh, Mr. Producer, I think we ought to keep our eyes open because I gotta tell you that feather we saw was kind of gigantic and I'm kind of a little concerned we might be facing some new species of animal. Yes, animal. There are living parts of an ecosystem too. We're going to look at some of them now. Now here we see some plants. They're called producers because they produce their own food. So we have grass here. We have some plantain. We have dandelion. We have some moss, and these are all producers, living parts of the ecosystem. Here we see some wild turkeys, living parts of the ecosystem. They're consumers because they have to eat to stay alive. Uh, don't get too close now. Here you'll find me fearlessly climbing a tree where you can see some lichen growing on the tree, another part of the living aspect of an ecosystem. I remain quite concerned. Yo! <laughs> I have concluded that this is a very dangerous ecosystem. Land of the giant birds. Let's get out of here. As we make our way out of this dangerous ecosystem, I can't help but stop and point out this mushroom. Mushrooms are decomposers. Plants are producers, they make their own food. Animals are consumers because they have to eat. Decomposers break down dead things and waste. Sadly, on our way out of this very dangerous ecosystem, we find the remains of a dead bird. You can see it no longer looks like a bird because it has been decomposed. Decomposers are breaking it down and turning it into soil, recycling the nutrients. And that concludes today's exciting episode of Adventures in Science with me, your host, Adventure Man. Thanks for joining us.